In this video, I want to show you how to make a super simple crochet cowl that really gets jazzed up by combining lots of different colors together. Be So Baby yarn comes in 38 gorgeous colors, and I'm going to use these five colors today, lime, aquamarine, indigo, violet, and lilac. We're also going to be using a size 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. Let's get started. First, we're going to tie our yarn to our crochet hook. You can use a slip knot, a square knot, however you like to tie your yarn to your crochet hook is perfectly fine. And our first round is going to be made in foundation single crochets. We're going to chain two, counts as our first stitch, and then work an extended single crochet into the second chain from our hook. So you're gonna count back one, two, insert your crochet hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one loop on your hook, and yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. That's our second foundation single crochet. So that's the way the stitch presents itself when we're going to be working into it in future rounds. But when you turn it on its side, it's this bar right here that we're going to continue working our next stitch in. So we're gonna insert our crochet hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one loop on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. We now have another foundation single crochet. Insert your hook in that next vertical bar, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one loop on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. We now have four foundation single crochets. You want to continue making foundation single crochets until you have the length that you want your circumference of your cowl to be. I did 64 foundation single crochets. So now you want to turn this and join it into a loop and you want to make sure that there's no twists in your chain in your it's not a chain it's your foundation single crochet round so let's lay it flat okay so on the inside edge we have our vertical bar that we worked into for each foundation single crochet and then on the top are the two loops that we'll work our future rounds of single crochet into. So now that it's untwisted, we're ready to join. So we'll join with a slip stitch to the first chain at the beginning of the round to join. So now our first round is 64 foundation single crochets. Round two begins with a chain one and single crochet in that same chain. Then working in the next stitch, we'll work a single crochet and we're going to work one single crochet in each stitch around. Okay, at the end of the round, we're going to slip stitch to the first single crochet at the beginning of the round to join. And this is what your work should look like at the end of round two. Rounds three and four are a repeat of round two. Okay, this is what your work should look like at the end of round four. Round five begins with a chain five which counts as a double treble crochet, and we're going to work one double treble crochet in each stitch around. Double treble crochet is yarn over your hook three times, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Over, pull through two. We'll do that again. And you want to do that all the way around. Instead of round five, you want to slip stitch to the top of the chain five at the beginning of the round to join. And round six is chain one and one single crochet in each stitch around. I'm just about to work the last stitch in this round of single crochet and we're going to repeat four rounds of single crochet like we did before the double treble round, but I thought it might be fun if we alternated the color between the first color and the second color to gradually change that color and soften up that color stripe a little bit. So in order to do that, so we're gonna be switching from lime to aquamarine for color A to color B. And when you're changing color, you want to finish the last step of the last stitch with the new color. So we'll uh, insert our crochet hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, but instead of yarn over, pull through two with the same color, we'll grab the new color and we'll finish that step with the new color. We're not gonna fasten off color A yet though, 
because we're going to be using it for the following round. I'll show you what I mean when we get there. So just let it sit there for now. And work one single crochet in each stitch around. Okay, we're ready to begin the last stitch of this round. So we'll insert our crochet hook, yarn over, pull up a loop. Now drop that for, or drop the aquamarine and pick the line back up to finish that stitch. And so instead of joining this round, we'll just work in a spiral and work one single crochet in each stitch around with the line. Ready to begin the last stitch on the row. So insert your crochet hook, yarn over, pull up a loop in line, but then we'll finish the last step of this stitch in aquamarine and now we're ready to begin the next round we're going to work one stitch one single crochet in each stitch around in aquamarine at the end of this fourth round of single crochet we're going to slip stitch to the first stitch at the beginning of the round to join we can now fasten off color a the line we won't be using it anymore and now we're ready to begin our double treble crochet row so that the chain five and then yarn over three times, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, 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 and we'll work one double treble crochet in each stitch around. At the end of round 10, we're going to slip stitch to the fifth or top chain at the beginning of the round to join. And now we're going to continue in our established stitch pattern and our established color pattern. So what we did was color A for the double treble round and then AB, AB for the single crochet section of four rounds. And we're going to continue in that pattern for each color. So we did aquamarine for the double treble round, then we'll do aquamarine for the first single crochet round, and then do indigo for the second, then aquamarine for the third, and indigo for the fourth. And we're going to repeat this sequence of color changes for all five colors, except on the last section of four single crochets, we'll do them all solid in the same color like we did in the first four rounds. Follow the link in the video description to download the Crochet Pattern Plus charts and to shop Be So Baby Yarn at only $3.99 a ball. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all, please feel welcome to leave them for me in the comments. And if you check out the video description, I've provided links for everything we talked about in this video. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. I'll see you in the next video.